In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Roblox saying that something went wrong. As you can see at the moment, I've just launched the Roblox app. So not using the website version, but the Microsoft Store version. And it says that something has gone wrong. So the first thing that you need to do is just completely close down Roblox. Once it's closed, you now need to ensure that you have internet access. If you don't have internet access, then Roblox will not work. So you will need to figure out why you don't have internet access. So if you go down to the bottom right hand corner in your system tray, you will then see your network icon. You need to hover over this and it will say internet access. Another way of ensuring that you do have internet access is by going to a website. So open up your web browser. I've got our website open here. If I click onto a link, for example, here we've got Roblox missing from PlayStation Store. I can see that my internet is working absolutely fine. Now that you're happy that your internet is working fine, you can close down the web browser. And the next thing that you need to do is just right click on the start menu icon. You then need to go to settings. And you now need to click on update and security. And you're just going to want to ensure you do have the latest updates installed for Windows. So click on check for updates. Once Windows is up to date, if you do have an optional quality update available, then you can always download and install that as well, as that could also help. Now launch Roblox and see if that helped fix the issue. If it didn't, then you now need to open up the start menu and type in store. You then need to open the Microsoft store. We then need to select library in the bottom left hand corner. And you then need to click on get updates. And this is just going to check that everything is up to date. And it may also detect a new update for Roblox. Once all the Microsoft Store apps have finished updating, go ahead and launch Roblox again and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to apps and features. You now need to click and search this list and type in Roblox. Now we need to select the Roblox app it will be the one that has a file size and you then need to click on advanced options. You then need to scroll down and you now need to press terminate and you then need to click on reset. And this is going to reset the app's data. You will also need to sign back into Roblox once you've done this. So ensure you do know the password for your account. Once you're happy, press reset and now launch Roblox and that should have resolved the issue you've been having. If that didn't help, then the next thing to do would be to click on uninstall and then uninstall Roblox. And you would then need to open up the Microsoft Store again, search for Roblox and you would then need to click onto Roblox and then click on install and install the Roblox app back to your computer. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.